Geometry, Chapter 1, Section 3. This is the construction we'll do in class. If you miss class, then you'll probably want to watch this video a couple of times to make sure you understand how to use your compass and all that. Um, maybe come in during our lunch time or whatever to practice using a compass so you get good at it because we'll be using them all year long. So going through the steps, draw segment XY. So take a pencil and a ruler. Um, so a pencil and a ruler. So let me grab a ruler. Put my ruler down anywhere. Grab my pencil and I'm going to draw a segment and I want to put endpoints on my segment. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so you guys can see it. Okay. So there is my segment. Didn't have to be any specific length. The only uh, stipulation is my compass must be set for more than half the distance so you can't make it you know longer than your compass can fit for half. So my compass will go over half the distance, so this is an okay segment for this compass. Next I'm going to use a compass. This little guy is called a compass. It's got a point on one end for you to stick into your paper. And then you've got a pencil on the other end for you to draw with. So use the compass to draw arcs above and below from point X. Oh, I need to put point X and point Y on here, don't I? So here's X and here's Y. That way I have segment X, Y, do the whole thing. Again, making my sure my compass is past half, it says to draw arcs above and below from point X. So that means I'm going to take and swivel this around. And I'm going to draw an arc down here. I'm going to swivel this around. And I'm going to make an arc up here. And if you're not comfortable with that, you could make the whole circle if you wanted. That would work too. It's not going to make a difference if you make the whole circle, you make just a part of a circle, or you make just a couple arcs. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do is use the compass set the same. So I'm not going to change the width of this compass at all, but I am going to take the point and put it at Y. So I'm going to take this point, put it over at Y. And for easy viewing, why don't I change my color here? There we go. And so then I want to do the same thing here. I can make an arc. I could make the full circle, I could just make parts of arcs, whichever seems to make the most sense. And then connect the intersection of the arcs, so I take my ruler, and I swivel my ruler around, and I put it at that intersection, and I put it at the other intersection, Oops. not moving my circle. Trying to make my ruler longer. There we go. Okay, so then again, putting it through the intersection here, and then rotating it so it is through the intersection over here. And then I'm going to grab my pencil again. So I'm not quite getting it where I want it. Grabbing my pencil and drawing another segment. So starting here and going up my ruler. And so I have drawn a segment that bisects my other segment. And then if you want to, you could label the intersection here because that's what we want to talk about. Um, grab a point. Put it on the intersection in the middle and label it Z. Where'd my Z go? There's my Z. So my intersection is the Z is a midpoint. This line is a segment bisector. I have bisected my segment. So if you want to watch it again and again to see how I did that again, you can. Again, you're responsible for knowing how to do this. This might show up on a quiz or a test. 